This is the Moog Sub 37. Now, uh, in a previous video, I took another Moog apart, the Sub Fatty. And the reason for that is I put the CV kit onto it, which was an optional extra sent out by Moog. Now, I'm just wondering, has this got the pin headers, or rather the plug that's on the board, to attach a CV output onto this? I mean, will that be another optional extra that will come out soon for it? Is it already there on the board, ready to just plug in and use? The only way to find out is to take it apart. So obviously we start by taking off the wooden panels. They've even printed the dates on the inside of them. Which one's that? March the 6th on there, March the 1st on there. Right, okay. That will hopefully make it nice and loose for this piece to somehow lift out. I'll try and figure out how that works. Yeah, it's very much like the sub. You take the bottom out first and then flip it over. Right, I'm just going to find a bit of cloth to put here so nothing gets scratched. Alright, let's try that again. Flip that over. Oh, very neat. So here's a quick look inside the Moog Sub 37. And I know it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but there is. There's a lot of surface mount components doing a heck of a lot of work. Uh, the power supply, very nicely made. Uh, good quality capacitors and bits on there. Should last a long, long time. Uh, protection, etc. Very nice. Now, this, I believe, is your actual synthesizer, this board here. On here, you can see, if I can zoom in without losing focus, let me have a look. There we go. Right. Yeah, so you can see marked on the board VCF and VCO CV inputs and things. I've looked around the board and I can't see anything that says CV outputs or gate outputs or anything. So whether there's going to be a future update for this to have CV and gate outputs, I don't think so because I can't find anywhere where you're going to possibly be able to plug anything in. Now there is a socket there. Let me just mark that for you. There's a socket just there, but that's the JTAG interface, and that's normally for programming everything up from the factory. And the only other socket, which I don't know, and I can't identify what it's for, is this one. Now, whether that would be used for a future CV output, I don't know. But I believe it's probably so that when it's in the factory, they just plug a unit into there, and that'll do all the changing of controls, etc. So that they can uh, trim this up with all these little trimmers and uh, set it up correctly so they all sound the same. But other than that, no, there is not another spare socket that's similar to the one that was in the uh, little fatty or anything. Now, there's lots of... Uh, little micro chips under here, surface mount chips and things, but they're mainly for the uh, digital to analog and analog to digital converters for all the pots and the switches and, and things. That is how they managed to have 256 memories of all your settings of all the pots, etc. But other than that, I think that is your synthesizer all there, because there's Several things written on the board. VCF range there. Uh, but no plug for an output. So that's just a, a quick look inside the Sub 37. And uh, I can't really say that there's going to be a CV output kit for this because I can't see any of the connectors that w were in the previous synth that I took apart. So there's not going to be an output kit, I don't think. Unless this connector here is 
there for some future use. I'm not too sure. But uh, it's nice to have a look inside. I'll get some pictures and put them up on the uh, Google page. Some better pictures. And uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice synthesizer this. I had the Voyager uh, a few years ago. I think one of my very early videos that uh, took the Voyager apart. And like a total idiot, I got rid of it. And I regretted it ever since. But this seems to have... Uh, you know, cured it for me. I've now got a nice Moog synth again that, that sounds very, very powerful and uh, has that unique Moog sound. Uh, it's very well built. It's, it's quality, as you would expect from Moog. And, uh, yeah, I think I best put it back together, actually, because I don't want to break this. But if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up uh, and I'll move on to the next thing as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.